All right, guys. Say so we're out at one of my favorite spots because I have a big announcement. Um, it's a little windy today, and I'm worried about the tripod getting knocked over. Otherwise, I would uh, put you guys up on the stand so you can see what I'm saying. But it's a little windy for that, so I'll just fish, let you guys know what's going on. But uh, anyways, I've decided to embark on the stupidest challenge I've ever thought of, and that is fishing every single day of 2021 for at least 30 minutes. I have to fish a spot that has fish, and I have to be fishing for 30 minutes. So uh, why would anyone want to do this, you might ask? Yeah, I don't, I don't really know the answer to that either. Um, I guess for one, I, I really like fishing. And uh, I also just, I want to get better at being an angler. I want to catch a wider variety of species next year. And I want to try new lures and new baits and definitely new locations. I fish mostly Half Moon Bay and here and Pacifica Pier and that's about it. Now, my goal is to record a video for each day I go fishing, which definitely means that some videos might be a minute long of me struggling in the rain and wind and not catching anything, but that's fishing and uh, I enjoy it. So I think it's gonna be fun. All right, guys, let me just jump in really quick right here. Uh, I decided to film every single day that I go fishing, but I won't be making a video of every single day. I think that's a little extreme and that'd be really boring for you guys as well as a lot of unnecessary work for me to try and edit a video at the end of every single day. So what I've decided to do is I'll film every day and I will compile um, a number of days together into one video. So for example, I might spend a whole week say uh, shark fishing and then that'll be a video on its own so i hope you guys still enjoy this fun 365 days of fishing challenge i know some days are going to be really tough and some days are going to be really fun but altogether it should make for quite an adventurous little year and this is definitely the biggest fishing related undertaking that i've attempted or am considering to attempt uh, Right now, I'm record I'm editing this on day 10 of the challenge, so January 10th, and I can tell that it's already going to be a lot of work. Um, I'm ready for it. I'm excited. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's get started. If I have to fight a raccoon, I'm going to lose, probably. I mean, who knows what those things are capable of. Uh, at least he's scared of me. That's good. You know, some of them aren't. Some of them are just... They'll just kill you. That's it. I live in constant fear of being killed by a raccoon in my sleep. Oh my goodness, guys. The raccoons have made it all the way down there. They've walked along the bottom here. Where are they going? We gotta go check this out, guys. Look at that. There they are. And at high tide, the water comes all the way up to, well, you see the rocks wet there. That's the high tide line. I guess they're just scavenging, foraging, if you will. Here he comes, making a run for it. <laughs> uh, funny little guys, but I hate them so much. Speaking of raccoons, you guys want to hear a funny story while I fish? When I moved into uh, my apartment here in the bay, I heard some rustling from underneath the floor beds one day and I thought, hmm, what could that be? Um, I thought it might be some mice or maybe some rats living underneath the house. But then I came home from work one day and I saw a huge raccoon, like the size of a small dog, just standing in front of the driveway like, like he owned the place. And raccoons definitely own, own the, the waters around here. I mean, as we've seen today. But um, 
I, I knew it must be a raccoon underneath the, uh, underneath the house. So one day I went out there and I put a cinder block in front of a little hole to the crawl space that they must have been using to get underneath my bathroom. Uh, now, I forgot to take into account the fact that raccoons are nocturnal. So while I was putting that down there, the raccoon was sleeping. And it was a good size cinder block, you know, those things are five, 10 pounds at least. And I put it right in front of the door. But then I heard a lot of rustling, like a ton, like it was trying to scratch its way out of something. And I knew that I had trapped the raccoon in there. So, so much for going to bed, right? And uh, then the next morning, after I put the block there, I peeked out my bathroom window and the block had been moved. <laughs> I mean, these raccoons are deceptively strong. They, he moved the whole cinder block out of the way, probably with just his paws. And uh, now I still have a huge raccoon problem. I got a big, nasty raccoon who might break into the house and eat me in my sleep. I, I don't know. I live in constant fear. Um, and then I, uh, I asked my landlord what I should do about this. and. He said, uh, call an animal control service and then send him the bill. So I did that and they put out some traps for us. And the first night we caught a raccoon. All right, there we go. Problem solved. They said, well, you should leave it out for one more night. Just, just in case there's another raccoon living in there. And then, uh, next night we left it out, caught another raccoon. So there's two raccoons living down there. Hmm, that's strange. Well, if we caught a raccoon last night, might as well leave it out one more night and make sure there's no more raccoons. Next morning, we catch a skunk. Okay, now the raccoon, problem's probably solved. Take a peek out my bathroom window again. Oh boy, you know what I see? I'll try and pull, put some pictures up on the, on the screen here. I see a bunch of baby raccoons. What I had done, or what animal control service had done is uh i guess we jointly are responsible for this but we uh we took we took some parent raccoons away from their kids and if you guys don't know they do have to put raccoons down when they capture them just because they carry so many diseases um so in essence we we orphaned a bunch of baby raccoons and so i felt really bad about that and i asked the uh, animal control service people what what we should do and what can be done and they said, well, we suggest leaving the trap out and um, maybe they'll all walk in at once because you have to pay per animal you trap with this service. And uh, I was thinking, okay, we'll leave the traps out. Hopefully all of them will walk in there and we'll trap them all. And then this will be the end of my raccoon story. Yeah, I wish. Next morning I woke up, looked inside the cage, not a raccoon, but an opossum. An opossum was there. And what was scattered around the outside? <laughs> a bunch of poor, dead baby raccoons. Can you believe this, guys? We, oh man, I feel so bad. We, we killed the raccoon's parents, and then a possum came and killed the raccoons. You know, at some point, I gotta feel a little bit responsible for what happened to those baby raccoons, but at the end of the day, they were gonna die anyways. And there's plenty of raccoons in San Mateo to go around. So I, I don't feel that bad. A little bad for the babies, definitely not for the parents. They caused me a lot of grief. Um, anyways, that's why I hate raccoons. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. If you guys have any questions about my gear or about this challenge, or about my boat or anything about my fishing life let me know in the comments down below and i'm happy to answer your questions i encourage you guys to also fish 365 days this year and maybe every year to the end of our lives but i won't be able to do that so i'm not going to ask you to do the same um, but follow me on uh on this challenge i'd like to know if anyone else has fished a, a year straight and if they have was it enjoyable? Will you do it again? Um, thanks again for watching and have a good one. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my 365 day fishing challenge. If you wanna watch from the beginning, just click up here 
If uh, you want to see the latest video I have posted, click up here. And as always, have a good day.